I'm noticing more personalization in the post. Yeah. And so um, it's the shot. I think this is one that can be confusing. Of you in the striking square in Italy when you're over there for the fashion show or you're yeah. speak. Um, and I'm I'm seeing experts, I'm sure smarter than me, talking about you want to humanize, you want things that are gonna make you authentic, you're gonna you wanna be likable, you wanna be so yeah. how much how do I find that so, balance between business business um I, I learned I pronounced the word wrong lately, bona fides, bona fides, right? You're you're you I yeah. guess on the bona fides. I I get the pillars of content very clear. I'm building up my credibility. Mm -hmm. But but now we're seeing a lot more this is me with my family, uh, or this is me with my walking my dog, or this is me um at the beach doing my thing. So here's what I would say. Rather than one, that's a highlight reel. That's what I call the highlight reel, where okay, you know, you're scrolling through your Facebook or your Instagram and you're just feeling terrible because you haven't gone on vacation in a few months and all you see is everybody loving their life and on vacation and they just remodeled their house and it's beautiful and uh, they got a, you know, everything's just great. It's the highlight reel. It's the sports center top 10 of their life, right? So you want to avoid that, in my opinion, on LinkedIn. Sure, you're probably going to get a lot of engagement. And there's absolutely things that maybe you do want to share with your professional network that you achieve some milestone in life and, right. you know, you're really excited. That's fine. But if you're doing that every week, you're annoying. <laughs> Everyone is thinking like, really? Like we're on LinkedIn here. Like you don't need to post your 17th post about your grandchild on LinkedIn or, you know, like so love you're, that you have a grandchild. Are you but, putting your professional brand at risk by, if you're overexposing that type of thing? I, are you saying? Personally for me, yeah. especially if you don't have anything of value, yeah, it's I don't. I don't want to engage with it. You know, no, it's different. If you're posting you're every single day and you end, you happen to have four posts a month that are very personal, I don't think it's in the world. Or, but or is that a is that a Facebook post or an Instagram post? Is there a different post yeah, that you should? I think it's a different channel. But I think I think there's different angles you can approach. If you're on vacation, why not be real and humanize it? Isn't, humanizing it isn't talking about look how wonderful our life, our family is, and our life is on the beach. Talk about like. You know, vacation has always been one of the hardest things for me as a professional. How do you balance yes. getting enough work but done ahead of one, time? And I've got friends that do that do that. They they really they can tie that into um we're in this crazy warp speed, fast paced industry, and it's hard to find time to turn it off because you're on the ride for so long yeah. and and how do you make time to balance and all that stuff. Yeah. I, and so that's a real thing about being on vacation, right? If you wanted to make the vacation post, that's it. I went on vacation last week. It was everything I hoped for, but it also wasn't. I had, I, I always dread coming back to the office. It's like, I need a vacation from the vacation just so that I can get caught up when I'm back in the office. And actually this year I decided to do things different. We, I took off eight days for my vacation and the last two days of the vacation, I was at home on my computer at my own pace, catching up. So that when I stepped into the office, first day back from the vacation, I was ready to go. And it actually changed everything because I knew on vacation, I could really step away and I could be present with my family without having to worry about the dreaded day coming back from vacation. Cause I had two days to transition back, right? So that would be like an example post that you could do, right? Can I ask, and, Will, yeah. when you do a post or you're recommending one of your clients, you know, if you're teaching them how to post, before I address a post, should I should I be thinking about a purpose of that? In other words, this is to establish credibility, or this one is going to be for likability, or this one's going to be um, authentic. Is that too contrived to be thinking well, about? Well, it, it depends. One, that's why the pillars help. You can, if you're always posting about a pillar in some capacity, and those even can show up. If it's a you have a little bit further removed from the pillar, but it's still a part of the pillar. Yeah. Then the purpose kind of shows up automatically. Okay. Right? And so that's why it's helpful to have those pillars. And then you can stretch outside of those within reason, but you'll, if you're stretching outside of it, it's because you have a different purpose that you're trying to accomplish. Right. Yeah. So I think that's important. I think the other thing to think about with when you're writing the post is, or in general, what is my account about? What am I about? 
am I someone that's going to post three times a day, four times a day? Okay. Well, I don't have to have a, a singular purpose for every single post. It's okay if I just ask for people's opinion. Hey, any recommendations for SEO vendors out there? Right. And oh, see, you'll see what you uh, get. If you've been if you've been true to developing, and I'm this way, yeah. I don't accept every connection request. And I've I've been right. scolded by friends and go, "It's a, you have a responsibility to accept that connection because you're a mem- you're on the community." And and I go, "But if there's not a if this clearly is somebody I know that's wanting to sell me something, and I don't yeah. have a connection or I don't have a need, I don't feel obligated." And you know, I'm a guy with a with a I don't know, 2,500 or 3,000 followers or connection. And and yet, but I've been real. So it, my point is, if if I did what you just said, hey, does anybody out there have a have a good SEO? Yeah, um, yeah your purpose is not around I one of your pillars. Just- will, I will get some great feedback back because these are truly my people, right? They're not yeah. just, you know, random people I connect with who go, oh, I'm assuming they're going to they're gonna co-sign for somebody. Yeah. To- 